Hi, Catherine. Thank you so much for coming back on our show today. Stephanie and I are so excited to have you back because we just could not cover enough in the first episode. And <laughs> for all of you listening, go listen to episode 188 first before you listen to this episode so you have some context. But thank you for coming and before we dive in, we want to ask you, what is your favorite place to travel in the world and why? Wow. What's my favorite place? Oh, man. I'm not sure if I have a, I found my favorite place yet. But um, uh, I have to say I loved Greece. Years ago, I spent three months in Greece. And um, the people are so lovely. The weather was so beautiful. The beaches were outstanding. Uh, life is very simple um, and, you know, we, people dance at night and they, you know, walk and, and, and work with their community during the day. I, Greece to me kind of has it all together. <laughs> so I, I would, and I was in Crete, Santorini, the Peloponnese. So uh, it doesn't matter where you go in Greece, you can't go wrong. So that, I would say that. But Catherine, I'm so envious, but I, we took my family there for 10 days this summer. And I would echo everything you said, but you got to experience it for three months. So yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that was a while ago. And you know, I was fresh out of college and, and, uh, um, but it stayed with me forever. Um, because it's just so perfect. Simple. It's and on perfect. my bucket list. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. definitely. Definitely keep it there. And, and uh, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> Great. Well, since we did have you on, um, but we know there's maybe people out there listening that haven't listened yet to episode 188. Can you give us just a quick recap of energy bits before we dive into some of the questions sure. that we want to yeah. ask you today? And yeah. maybe also like, what's your favorite scientific study that, oh, um, and what it, well, what rough. it shows? Yeah, yeah. That, there's uh so, uh, so um, my name is Catherine Arnston. I'm the founder and CEO of Energy Bits. We're an LG tablet company based in Boston. Uh, we're 13 years old. I had no intention of starting a company or certainly getting into algae. What do I know about algae? Just like what nobody else knows about algae. But uh, about 15 years ago, my younger sister, who I'm very close to in Canada, developed breast cancer. Her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet. Turns out it was because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll that build your immune system. And she wanted her to have a strong immune system while she was having her chemo. So I just, uh, I was an MBA, had nothing to do with nutrition, but I dug in and found out that uh, all the alkaline foods that she should eat and ones she shouldn't. And uh, this led me to algae, which is the most alkaline nutrient dense food in the world. 100,000 studies documenting all of its health benefits. It's been used safely in Asia on a daily basis for 60 years. It's as big of an an industry, agricultural industry there is the beef industry is here, but no one in outside of Asia seemed to know what it was or what it did. So um, I decided that that was going to be my path in life. And here I am 13 years later, and I've read 3000 PubMed articles, and I've been on 250 podcasts and uh, have built a company that uh, offers the cleanest, purest, safest, nutrient dense algae that you can get in the world. And I'm um, just getting started. So that's what got me here. And so what is algae? Well, first of all, you need to know it's a food category. It's not technically a plant and it's not a fruit. Um, and it was the first life on earth uh, about 4 billion years ago. There's two main types of algae, macroalgae, which is that big stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as seaweed. Uh, seaweed's good for you because it has lots of fiber and iodine, but it has virtually no nutrition. And we're talking about microalgae, which is completely opposite to macroalgae. It has virtually no, no fiber. In fact, spirulina has no fiber. It's not technically even a plant, but it is the most nutrient dense food in the world. And there's tens of thousands of strains of microalgae, blue, green, green, red. But the two we're going to talk about today are the two that are harvested as food crops in fresh water. So two important things to take away there. One, that algae is food. It's not a supplement. All we do is we grow it in uh, hydroponically, which means in fresh water. Then we air dry it without high heat, which is very important because we don't kill any enzymes like everybody else does. And then we just press them into these tiny tablets about the size of a baby aspirin that we call bits because they're bits of nutrition. So, so, so that, so 
spirulina and chlorella are the two algae that we're going to be talking about today. Um, they're completely different algae. They do completely different things in your body. You take them at completely different times of the day. Spirulina is very nourishing and energizing. And you take that in the morning, in the afternoon, when you're tired or hungry. And it also feeds your mitochondria, which we'll do a deep dive in. It also feeds your brain. So think of spirulina as brain food and mitochondria food. And chlorella, which we call recovery bits, is a green algae, highest chlorophyll in the world, hard cell wall that attaches to toxins, all heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, um, and they and chelates them. And because it has so much chlorophyll, um, it builds your immune system and your gut. So chlorella, which again, we call recovery bits, is a health and wellness algae that heals your gut. Uh, build your immune system compared to spirulina, which is an energizing, nourishing algae, which heals your brain and your mitochondria. So uh, you can see that they do completely different things, but they work beautifully together with one another, but they're definitely a food and they are the most nutrient dense food, all science based. The science has existed for almost 100 years in some cases, except it's just never been shared with the uh, public, certainly not in America. Um, and anyone who knows any scientists know that they, you know, they once they get that PhD, they uh, have science speak, and it's really hard for them to communicate these complex subjects to us mere mortals. I call myself a citizen scientist because I'm completely self-taught. So anyone who's listening, I've been in your seat for many, many years, uh, and I've all I've done all the heavy lifting. So you don't have to do all the deep science dives that I've done. I'm here to help you understand the complexity of the science that supports all the things we're going to talk about that algae does, because it is the most effortless way to build your immune system, support your brain, support your health, stop um, uh, any help prevent or reverse chronic diseases, uh, fill all the nutritional gaps. You just swallow a handful and you're done. And that's it. You don't have to cook them, clean them, eat them, nothing. And they last like three years. What vegetable lasts three years, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's efficient nutrition in terms of the time it takes. And also, if we recommend 10 tablets, 10 of spirulina in the morning and 10 chlorella at night. And 10 tablets a day, because we sell them in large bags, works out to a dollar a day. We have a discount code that will bring the price down. So a dollar a day. Don't you think you're worth a dollar a day, your family, your children, your your grandparents to protect their health? Because I'll tell you, the medical community, they're not going to do it. Uh, so you're either stuck with surgeries or drugs and you don't get better. You just, you know, stay ill or you can take charge of your health and do things like take algae uh, every day and find your health improving and protecting it so you can live well and long. And oh, Stephanie I and I, <laughs> sorry, just on that dollar a day, you know, they used to say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. And I can tell you, you can't buy an organic apple right now for a dollar. So right, right. it's cheaper <laughs> than that. <laughs> just a side and note. I, and I was just going to say, Stephanie and I have been taking the 10 tablets in the morning and the afternoon, and I um, love it. Like I can feel a difference in my body. And I also, I was just at a hair appointment and I think I've been taking them six weeks, maybe six weeks. I don't even know how long it's been, but my hair person was like, you have all this new hair growth. And I was yep. like, yes, I think it's the yep. algae. It's the algae. We used to laugh because we, uh, we years ago, we had a bunch of guy, student interns, guys mostly. And uh, they were both happy and not happy because they had to get their hair cut twice as often because their hair was growing so quickly. So yeah, it it, uh, it also builds your skin your skin because of the has more collagen than collagen powder and it stops free radical damage of your elastin and your collagen, which when that happens, it causes wrinkles. So you know, I tell people you maybe you'll take spirulina because you want to fill some nutritional gaps, but your hair is going to go faster. Or maybe you'll take chlorella because you want to build your immune system but you're going to find out that your digestion improves, your sleep improves, um, and you're protecting your mitochondria. So it's literally the gift that just keeps on giving. It, it's whatever you take it for, there's a thousand other benefits that you get from it. Well, if if it, someone has a cold, like a sniffle or a sore throat or whatever, and they take chlorella though, is that going to improve an existing absolutely, cold? Absolutely. It'll speed the 
the, it'll shorten the cold. And if you take them every day, uh, you won't probably get a cold. We we used to have mothers writing us in, um, you know, this is before COVID when kids were still going to school, although they're back at school now. But the, at the end of the year, the teachers would say to the mothers, like, what are you doing with your children? Because they're the only kids at the school that didn't get a cold. And, you know, at school, once one kid gets it, it travels so quickly. But yeah, uh, it happened over and over again. Same with teams. We you uh, have fueled entire Olympic teams, NHL teams. And when the, a team travels, they're often on a bus and they're very often put in a, you know, hunk, bunking down at a college dorm. Same thing. When one team member gets a cold, it just goes like rapid fire. So the teams love taking the, they take the spirulina for the energy for the performance, uh, helps with their brain focus. Uh, any kids, if you have any kids on the spectrum, I mean, ADHD, I mean, it's unbelievable, but they take the chlorella at night to protect their, their health from, um, from getting colds. Because when you run down, that's when your immune system is weakened. And that's when you end up getting susceptible to, to cold. So yeah, I can't wait to take it during the winter then for that reason. And my oh, kids yeah. and I will just echo Marnie, like regularly been using this twice a day since you were last on. And I had dabbled yeah. in a little bit before and my sleep, I will tell you, has never been so good. That was like, it's extremely noticeable to me because I was waking up a little bit sometimes. I mean, I am out cold. I'm falling asleep right away. And I mean, and you mentioned this last time and I'm not trying to promote drinking alcohol by any stretch but I don't feel any like fuzzy effects the next day. If I have a couple glasses of wine, I mean, yep. I am, it's like I know. my routine. It is, it's sitting by my nightstand and I take Girl, it every single night and in the morning happy. too. Yeah. And yeah. it helps with like, and I know you talked about this also the last time, I think briefly that like from intermittent, for people that intermittent fast, or honestly, sometimes I just don't have time to like have my breakfast for a little while. Right. And I'll take some, like, I don't know, eight, nine o'clock. And then I go like another hour or two and I'm not even hungry. Yeah. Where yeah. I was starting to get a little bit hungry, you know? So yeah. anyway, those are just some side tangible real life, you know, yeah. testimonials, and, and, if you will, from Marnie. And, and, and my dog, I mentioned this last time, but my dog loves them. When she sees yeah. me popping them, she sits next to me waiting yeah. for hers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The oh, and same they're thing. smart, you know, they, they know mm-hmm. more than we do. And so they know when something's really good for them. And, um, uh, if you take more, your benefits improve exponentially and, and um, they come in big ba- bags and canisters. We also sell them in individual pouches. There's 30 tablets. Which is great for traveling. <laughs> it's great for traveling. Uh-huh. But, you know, maybe you're at work and you're busy or you're in between meetings or something. And if you downed 30 of these, one pouch, which has 30 tablets in it, that would be like a meal replacement. And there's one calorie per tablet. 40 vitamins and minerals, 65% protein, loaded with essential fatty acids, and you will your hunger will be gone for literally five hours for 30 calories. Where, what could you ever, and it took you no time. You just either swallow them, I chew them, but most people, I will say, tend to swallow the spirulina because it's very chewy because of the high protein. But um, we, I just hired a new team member, and uh, within six weeks, he'd already, without any effort, He'd lost 12 pounds. He changed nothing except starting taking the spirulina every day. And I don't, I think he was maybe taking 20 or 30 a day, but he wasn't hungry. So, you know, wow. it's a meal replacement. It can help with weight loss. We don't promote it as a weight loss product because we don't want people to have, you know, miss, um, you know, expectations that are unrealistic, but it is, it does help with weight loss because it satisfies your hunger. And the trouble is when people go on a diet, very often they're cutting back certain food groups and they're eating less. So they're always tired and hungry. And uh, often they'll crave something because they they're missing nutrients because they cut out entire food categories. Never happens when you take spirulina because it's so nourishing. It has you could live on it forever. I I'm the one that found out that the nutrient profile is v- of spirulina is virtually identical to mother's breast milk. We know it's the f- perfect food. So same aminos in the same proportions. Um, it's it's I say it's mother nature's you know uh, breast milk for us. You can't very well have breast milk up to the age of two. So um, this is this is the next best thing. So it's it's pretty amazing. And we'll talk about some of the other powerful nutrients found in spirulina that aren't found anywhere in any other food that are amazing in terms of their healing properties. And it will blow you away. And it's all science-based. I don't say anything I don't have the science for. So 
Well, yeah. and I just, one more thing before you dive into that, I remember, I think you said it just now or in the beginning that it it takes the place of a, like a collagen, like if someone's taking a collagen supplement, can you talk about collagen, fish oil, maybe yeah. some other supplements that if you are taking, I think you mentioned vitamin B at one point Yep. yep. that you maybe don't need. And is that scientifically researched? Do you yeah. have like backing about that? Can you just quickly touch on that? Sure. Because, you know, everybody's taking so many supplements. And right. the sad thing is supplements are generally, not always, but most are made from extracts. Uh, and then they use high heat to fabricate them in a, in a factory. Well, first of all, these nutrients like ascorbic acid don't exist like that in nature. So when you take a supplement, your body can only absorb generally five or 10% of whatever's in there. That's why the numbers are so high. They know that you can't absorb them because they don't exist like that in nature, which contrasts to algae, which is a food. And so it has all of the factors and cofactors. So your body absorbs all of it. So when you take algae, you can probably every day, you know, we're not talking about like, you know, whenever you think about it every day, um, you can eliminate probably a multivitamin. You can, if you take spirulina, which has the, the higher essential fatty acids, including omega-3, you can eliminate your fish oil. And by the way, most fish oil is rancid by the time you get it. It's impossible not to pr stop it, the oxidation process. It just is what it is. So people are taking fish oil to reduce inflammation. And by the time you get it, in most cases, it is inflammatory. So you can replace a multivitamin, a fish oil, biotin. A lot of people take biotin to help their hair uh, grow because your hair, biotin is a protein um, and a collagen powder. Now, I was really happy that, you know, over the last 10 years, people started learning about collagen powder because nobody knew about it before. And there was a company called Vital Proteins that put it on the map. But what I don't think people know is that collagen powder is basically melted down skin and hides and bones and tendons from oh, animals. And what so do they gross. use to melt it down? They use chemicals. They don't tell you that. So now you're taking this thing, collagen powder, to improve your collagen, which is important for your skin and for your joints, but it's not a sustainable uh, product. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for you. Algae, and I did the analysis, has more collagen than collagen powder because I did an analysis on per amino basis. And some of the aminos in spirulina, at least ours, have as much as 400% more than collagen, 200% and a couple of them. By the way, collagen does not is not a complete protein. It does not have tryptophan. Spirulina and both algae, they are a complete protein. They have 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine that your body can't make. So it's a complete protein. So you can eliminate biotin, probably CoQ10, fish oil, multivitamin, collagen. There's five right there. That'll probably save you about a hundred dollars or and more per month. And a large bag of our algae tablets have a thousand tablets in them. And if you take 10 a day, a bag will last you three months, cost you a dollar a day, and a bag contains the equivalent nutrition of 551 pounds of vegetables. And I got to that calculation because we have a quote from NASA that says one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of vegetables. So one to a thousand. So 551 pounds of vegetables. Think about it. That's 551 pounds of vegetables you didn't have to drag home from the grocery store, throw out half of it when they went bad before you had to cook them. Even if you did cook them, you don't have to fight with your kids or your husbands to eat them. Uh, a lot of people don't eat vegetables. They don't like them. They give them gas. The algae is effortless. You just swallow a handful, 10, 20, however many you want, or in my case, chew them, and you're done. They last three years with the expiry date, technically never go bad. Uh, it's effortless nutrition. I call it your new, new uh, your health insurance too, because as you're going to find out, it has so many healing properties from the nutrients in it that aren't available in any other food that are pretty stunning. And again, all based in science. So yeah, you can replace so many of your nutrients with spirulina and chlorella because chlorella, which we call recovery bits, has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world, 500 times more than um, than um, than arugula and 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. So if you don't like vegetables, you're on, you're in luck because you never have to eat any again because chlorella has some fiber and it has all the chlorophyll and phytonutrients that you you get generally from vegetables. And by the way, those vegetables 
Uh, just because they're big doesn't mean they're they're nutritious because everybody's using glyphosate. And even if you eat organic, there's lots of, you know, trickle effect of the, the pesticides that get into the, the crop. So uh, you're not getting the nutrition that you used to um, or your grandparents did. So uh, it's chlorella algae is your answer to fill those um, gaps for greens. And um, it will also reduce your your uh, grocery bill as a result. We had a, a woman who was 85 years old who started taking our algae. She said that before she take, took the two of them, she was incontinent. She couldn't sleep. She had no energy. And after even a, a few days of starting to take the both of them, her energy improved. She didn't need as much food. Her grocery bill you know, plummeted. She listed all the things she did that particular day. She went to visit her grandson at at, at, uh, at school, a friend in nursing home. She came home, painted her kitchen, cleaned out her, her garage, and she joined CrossFit. 85, <laughs> she's doing CrossFit. Okay. Wow. I think, you know, honestly, I, we have, these are real testimonials. So, you know, we love it when we hear from our customers and we do every day. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very, very rewarding. No so, Catherine, <laughs> speaking of this 85-year-old, one topic we really wanted to dive into today we didn't get an opportunity to talk about last time is longevity and really brain health. Yes. So, and it sounds like, I mean, based on this 85-year-old who's doing CrossFit and yeah. traveling and all these things, but can you talk a little bit about, you know, what's in there that, and what's in there that's helping with the brain health sure. and... Also, just overall longevity. I mean, we talked a little bit about the beauty aspects with the hair and the skin and everything. Um, yeah. But it's just that longevity is such a buzzword. Oh, I um, know. And some of the science behind this so that yes. people right. don't think it's a gimmick. Yes. Oh, yeah. It, the algae is not algae is not a gimmick. It, it's also no drama. Uh, it just works in the background. I call it steady eddy because it just it's just there. <laughs> it always works. It never disappoints you. Um, and this whole longevity issue is, is very, very big because, um, you know, I'm a baby boomer and there's so many of us now and Alzheimer's is on the rise and, um, you know, depression and anxiety is on the rise. And, you know, COVID certainly didn't help with that. So brain health is very, very big, regardless of what age you are, but certainly after you get to the age of 60. And the reason why um, spirulina in particular is so beneficial for brain health and for longevity is because of a couple of nutrients in it that protect the mitochondria. Because, um, and one of them is an enzyme, it's an antioxidant called superoxidismutase. And your body makes this particular antioxidant from the moment you are born until the age of 30. And after the age of 30, it slows down. And by 40, you have virtually none of this antioxidant. And we're, I'm going to tell you what it does. I mean, it protects your mitochondria from damage. And you'll say, well, what's so important about mitochondria? Well, it controls everything in your body, all of the aging, all of the diseases, all of the things that go on in your brain, every, absolutely everything. So your number one goal is to protect your mitochondria, because when you protect your mitochondria, they will protect you. Um, from diseases, they will help restore your health after, if you have a disease. Um, and in fact, there's a, a book that came out, I usually have it here, uh, they, um, by Dr. Chris Palmer called Brain Energy. And the whole entire book, he's a psychiatrist uh, at the Harvard Medical School, and his entire book is about how all brain issues are due to damaged mitochondria. And the reason is because your, your brain has the highest mitochondria in your entire body. There are 2 million mitochondria per cell in your brain. So when your mitochondria uh, aren't working well, the first thing that goes is your brain. And we did some clinical trials and, and I can talk to you about that as well. So let me tell you though, why the mitochondria are so pivotal to longevity and to your brain health. I'm showing you a picture of a cell and inside the cell is uh, your nucleus and these little peanut shaped things that are mitochondria. So think about your brain has 2 million of these little peanut shaped things per cell in your brain. It's crazy. The next highest is your retina, then women's eggs, and then your heart. And then after, and your heart has like 7,000 mitochondria per cell and, and then skin and other um, base fat has maybe like about a thousand or something. So in the mitochondria, which are inside the cell is where something called ATP is produced. 
ATP generates all of the what's called cellular energy. We're not talking about energy to go run to the store, although it does include that. We're talking about cellular energy to um, propel your mind, to allow your neurotransmitters to work, to allow your digestion to work, your lymphatic system to work, your eyes to work, your brain, your mouth, absolutely everything. And I say cellular energy is like money. When you have more money, you can do more things and you have more choices. When you have more cellular energy, you can do more things and you have more choices. But the problem is, as we get older, these mitochondria get damaged and they don't work as well. So, it, and the reason why is because in the mitochondria where this ATP is produced, nobody tells you, but a byproduct of ATP are free radicals. And you know what free radicals are? They're, they're, an, uh, they're a molecule that has an unpaired electron. So what it does is it steals an electron from another molecule, which damages it, and then that becomes a free radical. So it steals from the next molecule, and this is what causes tissue damage. This is what causes inflammation. This is the cause of all disease is these free radicals damaging your mitochondria. And so the reason why your mitochondria gets so damaged is because they have their own DNA and they're right inside where the ATP and the free radicals are occurring. Your regular DNA, which are, you have 22,000 of them, is nowhere, they're nowhere near where the, the, um, where the mitochondria are generating the ATP. And, and so because your mitochondria DNA control everything, they get damaged from the free radicals. They get damaged. Uh, uh, so they send wrong signals. It's like somebody driving on the wrong side of the street. It's just a disaster. So nothing in your body works properly when your mitochondria are damaged. Here's a picture of a healthy mitochondria and a, and a damaged mitochondria. See all the gaps in between the, in the damaged mitochondria? That's because the uh, the process by generating uh, where you generate ATP is called the electron transport chain and they pass electrons along sort of like a relay race. But when they're damaged, they can't pass the electrons. So they just they leak out and cause free damage. So now it's like someone dropping a baton in the middle of a race. They, they can't they can't generate ATP. So this re reduces your cellular energy and leads to more damage. So. The, the trick is you've got to, here's a bigger shot of your mitochondria. The trick is you've got to stop the free radical damage of the mitochondria DNA so that they can heal. Because when they're healing, then they're living. Now they're talking to one another. They're sending the right signals. They're generating ATP. They're giving you more fuel to recover from cancer, recover from heart disease, or protect yourself from either one of those things. Can I so, ask you a quick question? Yeah. So if you're taking algae and you have free radical damage, do you have studies or information that shows how how often, not how often, but like how long you need to take the algae before you actually can, you know, like repair. get rid of some of that damage that you that you have in your body? Right. Well, it depends on how bad the damage is and it depends on how uh, how few mitochondria you have. So um, every single person is different. But what I can tell you, and, and you probably know this anyways, we have about 30 trillion cells in our body. And every day, 30 trillion die and 30 trillion new ones grow. So whatever situation, whatever health condition you have, it's not a death sentence if you give your mitochondria what they need to start healing because they will start growing back. Um, so whatever you've got is not permanent if you can give the mitochondria the, the, um, the food, the nourishment that they need so they can start you know, growing again and sending the right signals. So um, it depends on how, it depends on what else you're doing, how, how serious the, the illness is, but it starts immediately. The, the regrowth starts immediately. Um, and it will- So you take 10 little, pellets or cap what do you call them again pellets well we call them bits because they're bits, bits. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. take 10 bits and the regrowth is starting immediately immediately but what what we you know when i say get take 10 tablets a day that's for someone who's healthy if you have a health condition you should be taking 30 a day of both this particularly the spirulina and maybe the chlorella as well because they do different things in your body because you're going to want to you know speed up that 
healing process. And I'll, t- I'll talk to you about the, t- the nutrients in particular, especially this one called superoxidismetase, um, that is very he- healing and not found in any other food. Um, so it's not like you can go out and get it from something else. It doesn't exist and your body stops making it after 30. So, so you're a sitting duck. I believe this is why chronic disease kicks in after the age of 40, because we don't have the protection that we had from this superoxidismetase uh, antioxidant that our bodies made for us from the moment we're born. But after the age of 30, it drops and then by 40, you have none. So it's, it's, it's like an accident waiting to happen. And we know how cancer and heart disease and all these d- the other diseases start manifesting um, after the age of 40. And it, it just gets worse and worse as you get older. So, so if you are, ha- if you do have a current chronic condition, it doesn't matter what it is, fibromyalgia, Alzheimer's, heart disease, uh, anything, you should be taking 30 tablets of spirulina or more a day, every single day, probably the chlorella at night as well, because it does different things. Until you get a clear diagnosis, it could be one month, it could be three months, it could be six months, but it will get to work. It will start working. I, uh, I can promise you that because it always has. And, and there's, by the way, there's 25,000 studies that exist that show how superoxidigentase prevents heart disease, prevents Alzheimer's. But, the, you know, they were, they, it's so, so it's very well documented. But the trouble is, it's not available in food in, except in spirulina or chlorella. And it's not even available in other algae companies uh, because, as you're going to find out, superoxidigentase is an enzyme. And anyone who knows anything about nutrition knows that enzymes are killed by high heat. So they're, they're deactivated and virtually all the other algae companies use high heat to dry their algae because they're lower priced, higher volume. So they need to get to market quickly. And I started the company because my sister had breast cancer. I wasn't even planning on building a company. So when I chose all the production processes for our company and I heard that enzymes would, I didn't even know about superoxidismetase 13 years ago, but I knew enzymes were important. Little did I know how important they were. I, so I knew we couldn't use high heat to dry it. So we've never used high heat to dry our algae. So our superoxidismetase, which is the, probably one of the most important antioxidants that you'll ever have, um, is alive and well. And the only other thing I can recommend to people other than our algae is frozen spirulina because for the same reason, it has not been exposed to heat. So the enzymes are all intact, except the problem with frozen spirulina, it's hard to find, it's very expensive, very messy, uh, expires quickly and you can't travel with it. So it's, but it is another alternative. Uh, And uh, we're in discussions with the Gershon Institute and the Hippocrates Institute, which are two very, very big holistic health centers that treat people with very late stage cancer. And they give them, frozen spirulina but they're but once they leave it's harder for the patients to find it so they're thinking of using our products because they've seen that it's a raw food just like the frozen spirulina so it delivers the same kind of results so um, I'm hoping one or both of them will come on board and it, it be, that'd be quite a testament to the high quality that we offer people so so yeah it's uh this the the and you know this science is as I said has existed for you know, 50, 60 years, but it's never been shared with people. And wait till I get to the cancer piece. You know, you, you're going to flip when you, I mean, the superoxidismetase is very, very important, for, especially for brain health and just protecting your mitochondria. Uh, and there is superoxidismetase in the chlorella as well, but there's more of it in the spirulina. So the, the key to protecting your mitochondria, there's two ways you can do it. One is you reduce the free radicals that are damaging them. And the other one is to remove them. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that, because this is very important. Um, We have to get people back on the road to health. And algae is the easiest, fastest way to do that. And it's all scientifically proven. So the thing about these, this ATP production as I mentioned, this thing called the electron transport chain, I don't want to get too geeky, but you get more electrons leaking out, causing more damage, causing more free radicals from carbs, processed carbs. So when you change your diet, all you have to, you don't even have to do a keto diet, but a low carb diet would be better. But even better is fasting, intermittent fasting or algae. Fasting and, al- or, and taking algae release virtually no free radicals. 
So boom, already you're uh, ahead of the game because you're having fewer free radicals being produced. So there's going to be less damage. So that alone will get you on a path of being healthier. Okay. So, so just to uh, clarify, Catherine, so being on a heart, high carb diet is producing more free radicals is what you're yes. saying. Even yes. if you're eating fruits and vegetables and other things too. Well, the, you know, processed carbs generate processed carbs. the high. So we're talking sugar, breads, yeah. pastas. Um, it's just the, it, they're very, very, um, they just really so much. And, and, you know, I think that's one of the reasons, the other reason why people are so sick is because we're surrounded by, by um, all these carbs and it's just, this, you know, killing us. Literally, it's literally killing us. So so first step is to reduce the number of free radicals. The second thing to do, as I mentioned, is to remove the free radicals. But here's the problem. So this is a, a big picture of your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are the only cell in your body with two membranes. Every other cell, including mitochondria, have what's called a lipid membrane. That's a fancy way of saying fats. And so this is why omega-3 and D and E are important for you because they will keep your cell wall permeable, which allows nutrients in and toxins out. So, and by the way, chlorophyll, which is the green pigment in chlorella and also in spirulina, it is a fat-based pigment. So it does the same thing to heal your cell, your fat, your lipid cell, cell wall, which um, because it's a fat-based pigment. So, but well, the reason I mentioned that is because all cells have that lipid membrane, including your mitochondria, but your mitochondria have a second membrane. It's called an inner membrane. And that inner membrane is impenetrable to virtually all antioxidants. You can eat a room full of blueberries. You can eat a room full of vitamin C, vitamin E, not a drop will get into that inner membrane because it doesn't have what's called porins. I'll tell you where that inner membrane came from in a minute. So there's only a handful of antioxidants that can get into that inner membrane to stop free radical damage. One of them is called superoxidismutase that I mentioned your body makes. Another one is called glutathione that your body also makes from the moment you're born. A third one is called is chlorophyll, which your body doesn't make, but those three, and also melatonin, those three can get into the inner membrane uh, and stop free radical damage. Now your body makes superoxidismutase, glutathione, and melatonin from the moment you are born until the age of 30. And as I mentioned, all of those antioxidants slow down after the age of 30 and literally stop being produced by 40. And no surprise, that's exactly when chronic disease hits after the age of 30, 40. And by the time you're 50 and 60, do you know that 60% of adults over the age of 40 have a chronic disease, 60%. And when you hit 65, that goes up to 80%. By the way, I'm almost 67. I have no chronic diseases. I also don't take any medications. So, and I eat a ton of algae every day. So I'm an example. Do you eat other food? I eat real food. Oh, absolutely. I usually eat one big meal a day and I, you know, I eat grass fed animal protein and eggs. So I'm not a vegan. Um, I just am very careful about my choices. I don't eat sugar. I don't eat, you know, processed foods. So. Uh, and, and we I've, just want to clarify for our audience. We're not suggesting that you just take no bits and yeah. fast. I yeah. just want to clarify that. Yes. Yes. Real food. Just eat whole food. That's it. Just eat whole food. And you'll be 90% of the way there. Um, but you do need to add algae because it, your body is missing certain free uh, antioxidants that it used to make for you, um, but isn't making them to protect you. So it's like you had superpowers until the age of 30. And then it's like you get, hit some kryptonite and, and you're like, you're, you're done. And you can't get glutathione or uh, superoxidismutase from any food in any amount that's medicinal. So algae, and, uh, and, and again, um, spirulina and chlorella have both of them, but most other algae companies use high heat and um, that damages the nutrients and, and kills the superoxidismutase. And we'll talk about another nutrient in a minute. So what does the superoxidismutase do? It turns the free radicals into water. It's like having a fireman in your cells, hosing down all the 
all those free radicals. And the best analogy I can give you as to what the free radicals do is they're like sparks. They're burning, literally burning uh, your cells, your mitochondria. Um, so like, it's like if you got ever got close to a bonfire or a fireplace and sparks would fly, you might get some, you know, might get burned. Well, that's what's happening to your mitochondria DNA because they are located exactly where the ATP and the free radicals are being produced. So something like superoxide dismutase um, turns all those free radicals into water. So there is no damage. So now your mitochondria can start growing again. Now your mitochondria can start signaling because they do more than just provide you energy. They are in charge of all cellular communications in on all of your cell walls with all of your DNA, uh, with all of your other new um, uh, DNA, both in the mitochondria and the regular cells. So, so now you can start getting back on a solid footing. So you can turn that cycle, that downward spiral uh, around. So this is why um, spirulina in particular it ha- gives you the superoxidismutase, the glutathione, the chlorof- chlorophyll, which help protect your mitochondria. And at the chlorella, which we didn't talk about much, um, but it pulls out toxins, which is also damaging to your mitochondria. So the two of them together can flatline inflammation. And that's when your health starts to re- um, uh, recover. And uh, we did a clinical, a small clinical trial recently um, with some spirulina, and um, uh, and it was it was proven in 30 days we reduced the brain inflammation. But I want to explain to you why the mitochondria have that second inner membrane because it's it's pretty cool and um, it's kind of a neat science experiment because uh, and I and it's all again documented in, in science. So. Remember I said at the very beginning that algae was the first life on earth. It was actually uh, something called cyanobacteria like spirulina. Spirulina is a bacteria. It doesn't have any cell, cellulose wall, no, no fiber either. And after a billion years of this cyanobacteria growing, because it was an anaerobic cell, it released enough oxygen that bigger cells that were aerobic could grow, but they didn't generate as much ATP. So basically the big cell absorbed the little cell and instead of digesting it, they coexisted. So here's a little picture, the little cell by like cyanobacteria like spirulina uh, was by itself, then it got absorbed by the bigger cell, but instead of being digested, it coexisted and turned into mitochondria. Cyanobacteria like spirulina became mitochondria. Pretty crazy, right? It's all documented in in, um, in scientific um, evolutionary science. It's called endosymbiotic theory. But so. So I just want to show you. So this is why there's an inner membrane in your mitochondria. It was the original leftover membrane that when it got absorbed, it didn't disappear. It just got a second membrane put around it. And that's why everything that's in the algae pretty much heals your mitochondria because they're family. That's that's amazing. And mm-hmm. I think it would help our listeners to hear some real world Yes. Stories. I know you talked about the 85 year old woman, but can you tell us um, about another <laughs> customer whose maybe life was changed? Maybe they had some sort of um, free radical damage. And yeah. They were having some health conditions and yeah. you can maybe just tell a quick story that the listeners sure. can relate to on how they changed the algae or the well, bits changed I'll, I'll their life. You. I'll do one on on brain health and I'll do one on cancer. So uh, as I mentioned, we did a small clinical trial. We took a group of army veterans from an organization called Gray Team um, that's trying to stop suicide rates. Military veterans suicide rate is between 35 and 50 percent, which is heartbreaking. So uh, what we did was gave um, a small group of middle military veterans one pouch of spirulina tablets, 30 tablets a day for 30 months. We did a brain scan of their brain, EEG of their brain before and, and one after 30 days. And one of the gentlemen had um, uh, MS, so, you know, tremors, right? And those tremors went away, by the way, after 30 days. And what I'm showing you is we, the brain scan we did before uh, on this particular individual, the blue color shows lack of uh, brain activity and 
inflammation. And this is another the scan afterwards, which shows all the colors, red and yellow, shows that the inflammation was gone and brain activity was back. So, so that's one example of someone whose brain health improves in just 30 days and probably would have been even sooner if we'd done another EEG on a sooner, on a faster um, uh, level. And the, the, the benefits come because of the superoxidismitase, which is protecting the mitochondria. It also uh, protects your telomeres from damage. Uh, the, it's spirulina is loaded with essential fatty acids. Your brain is mostly fat. So very much spirulina is a brain food. But there's also a really uh, cool nutrient in the blue spirulina called phycocyanin. It's, it's hard to spell. I'm going to spell it out for you. P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N. And what's so amazing about this blue pigment is it's proven to kill cancer cells. I would say that would be pretty important. And in fact, the chemotherapy companies actually use it in their treatments. And what I'm showing you is a Petri dish. They they dyed the cancer purple and they put a small amount of phycocyanin into the Petri dish. And it's a 24-hour time lapse. And the, after 24 hours, the cancer is pretty much gone. And what I'd like to tell people is the amount of phycocyanin that's in our blue spirulina um, is 4,000 times more than was used in that experiment. And we've had pay, uh, customers r write us in. They send us their lab tests. You know, people are given two weeks to live. And um, within days, their lab labs improved. I mean, I can send you a sheet of all these testimonials and um they live uh they get taken off their oxygen tanks or um and when they take the chlorella after chemotherapy it pulls out the excess chemo so they're not as nauseous yeah, that that's i would say that was pretty important but once again the um the you know the nutrients the nutrient that's doing all this is as i said it's the blue pigment but it's damaged by high heat and there's a, a, a study i found that it, the the value of the phycocyanin uh, drops, you know, 100% after you use high heat. And again, almost all the other algae companies are using high heat because they're lower priced, um, higher volume, and we don't ever use that. So the phycocyanin in our algae will get to work to help kill cancer cells. We all have cancer cells in us at all times. But I will say the rate of cancer, and I started the company because of my sister having breast cancer, I, I everywhere I go, everybody either had, has cancer, has it in their family, or and or has a close member, um, a friend who has it. It's just unacceptable to me. And so this is Mother Nature's gift to us. Uh, it's her, uh, you know, it's her natural way to protect us from cancer. But, you know, people don't know about it. You can Google phycocyanin and cancer treatments, and you'll see that there are studies that um, are treatments that are using phycocyanin in their cancer treatments. But who wants to get have radiation? Who wants to get to the point of having cancer? Um, you would, everybody in the world should be taking this every single day to protect themselves because it's a insidious disease. And by the way, there's a German Nobel Prize winner by the name of Otto Warburg. He won a Nobel Prize in the 30s. He's Ger he was German. And he discovered that cancer cannot exist in cells that are alkaline. Now, remember, I began this entire journey because my sister's oncologist, which is a cancer specialist, told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet. And I believe it's because she was aware that your cells need to be slightly alkaline, which is 7.1. The, the range goes from 0 to 14. And algae is the most alkaline food in the world. And when your cells are slightly alkaline, cancer can't take hold. Other diseases can't take hold because there's more oxygen in the cell and it's behaving properly. The mitochondria are healthy. They're communicating effectively and they can keep cancer out. That blue phycocyanin, by the way, it also has what's called anti-angiogenesis properties. Another mouthful. Sorry about that. That means it stops the growth of blood vessels to tumors. And uh, there's a nonprofit organization called the angiogen.org. And the, everything they do, they're based here in Cambridge, Massachusetts, is to research things that stop the um, growth of, of blood vessels to tumors. And, and they, they told us that our phycocyanin was one of them. So so we have a lot of science that validates these the things that I'm telling you. Uh, but the, again, the scientists don't, they're just not hanging out with the uh, normal people. <laughs> they're out there talking to other scientists and rightfully so, they're doing some really great research. But I want people to know what this stuff does. As long as you get high quality 
nutrient dense, clean algae because we also only sell our our products through doctors. We sell it through our website energybits.com. But you know, we our doctors need to know that our products are clean and healthy and they work. So we do third party lab tests here in the U.S. to to prove that. Um, so it's um, I'm I'm doing all this because I want to make a difference. It shouldn't be so difficult to be healthy. It shouldn't be so difficult to achieve longevity. Um, you shouldn't have to take so many supplements. You shouldn't have to work so hard. You shouldn't be so susceptible to diseases. But um, you need to know how your body works. And once you understand how it works, like this business about the mitochondria, and I invite people to go online and learn about it, because if you don't learn, you're going to still be afraid of stuff. And we don't want that. Yeah, knowledge is empowering. So um, I'm here to help people become knowledgeable so you can be empowered and healthy. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're here and you're that resource, you know, and to bridge the gap from the scientists to yes. all of us here. Um, and I know we're running out of time. Again, these conversations just seem to fly by. Um, I love the, dis the discussion about cancer yeah. and killing the free radicals and being preventative. Marnie and I just had an interview right before this about cancer and prevention. So this is amazing. And it's really, yeah. it's Relevant. impacting a lot of our listeners yeah. because and remember, like you said, food. we all are impacted by it. It's medicinal food. It's not a supplement. It's not a pill. It's just food food. And uh, we just grow very carefully so that it, it can you know work very well in your body. So um, anyways, I know we have to wrap up. I do want people to know. How that can people buy our, your products? Yeah. Yes. Our, our website is energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y-B-I-T-S.com. And we have a 20% discount code living well, all one word, no space in between it. Uh, works on everything. You, we have large bags, canisters, little sample sets. Uh, no rush. You know, take your time. Uh, and if you aren't ready for a big bag, you can go to Amazon and buy a little pouch that has 30 tablets in it for six dollars. Try it out. We don't. You know, we want you to feel comfortable. There's no discount codes, but just try it out on Amazon. If you have Prime, it's free shipping. And then come back to energybits.com and use your 20% living well discount code. Uh, come to the website anyways, because we write a, a pretty comprehensive blog every month. And so you just start educating yourself. Algae is going to change the world. And I tell people, algae isn't new. It's just new to you. And just like you didn't know about, you know, chia or kiwa or collagen powder until somebody told you about it. You know, it's been around, the, the Egyptians used it 2000 years ago. The Aztecs used it 250 years ago. Um, I'm just here to help you understand what it does if you have high quality prom, algae that's not been exposed to heat. So, so uh, give yourself a break, um, uh, enjoy it. It's good for your pets, your children, your grandparents. Uh, no contraindications. I mean, seriously, it's like, what do you got to lose? It's food, yeah. right? It's, it's food. food. I gave it to my teenage daughter. Yeah, yeah dollar thank a you. day. Thank you, a day. <laughs> thank you, Catherine, so much. This conversation has been super informative. And listen to episode 188 as a compliment to this episode. They they fill in the gaps for one another. And let us know what you think when you try the LG, because Stephanie and I both love the bits. Yeah. Yes. And perfect. thank you for coming on today. All right. Well, thank you both of you for what you do. It's, it takes a it takes a group of us, right? <laughs> it does. It does. Yes. And I'm glad you're part of it. So yes, me too. All right. Thank you thank so you. much. Have a great day. Right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.